Perez with a beautiful pass here to Carrillo. Carrillo is like, what, 15 yards away, and he shoots it to make it 1-0 in the 13th minute assist from Perez. Yo, what's up guys? How are you guys doing today? It is me, Quinkin, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Newcastle United Career Mode series. And we're going to start things off with a squad report to see how our players are doing. And Colocini, Ryan Taylor, and Czech Teote are all going down in their overall rating. Czech Teote is barely 28, and he's already going down in form. He's been playing well, but... He's just been going down in overall rating. Veltman are signing from Ajax. He's gone up by one. Goyfran has gone up by one. And Masadio Haidara, this guy, he's been having a great season and he's gone up by one. Also, Steven Taylor has gone up by one, the younger brother of Ryan Taylor. And Ayosi Perez, he's gone up to a 74. And Rolando Ahrens also. But we do get some emails and Manchester City does want me to be their manager and I was stalling I don't know if I want to go with them I want to stay here in Newcastle uh, because we're a smaller side and I really want to help out Newcastle and this is the question for today's episode who is your favorite football team leave a comment down below my favorite is Real Madrid and we're gonna be facing Burley in the first game of today's episode and I put a lot of reserve players and this team actually did pretty good Kobeck is on the wing before the halftime's over we center it to Cisse and Cisse Cisse scores to make it 1-0. Cisse for now, he's playing with the reserves. I haven't really been satisfied with how he's been playing this season, but we have Amoebi on the wing. Beautiful roulette here, and he comes back. We pass it to Anita. Anita's all by himself, and he curls it to make it 2-0 in the 81st minute. We were dominating this game. Burnley had no chance, but we do take out Cisse. We put Rivedi, and he does score to make it 3-0. So, Rivedi is a very good French striker. He played into this game for like nine minutes and he already scored a goal. We're winning 3-0. Can we keep the clean sheet? Full time is almost over, but we do concede. There was no way Tim Krul was gonna get to that. Hit off the crossbar and it went in and Burnley actually get the goal to make it 3-1. But we get the three points and our next game is gonna be versus Chelsea. I'm very satisfied with the way we're playing but it was time to make some changes to the starting 11. We're going to take out Taylor. We're going to put in Haidara as a new left back. And we're going to take out Cisse. And we're going to put Perez as the brand new striker. So these young players are really doing pretty good. They're kicking out those old players. And they're taking their spot in the starting 11. Next game is versus Chelsea. And they're one point ahead of us in the league table. Yes, we are in third place. And we're facing the league leaders, Chelsea. And they have such a great squad. Courtois and goal. Ivanovic, Cahill, Terry, and Felipe Luis. Such a great defensive line. And they have Hazard, Oscar, and Diego Costa up front. I was going to leave my starting 11. We use the same players with Tim Krul in goal and a great defensive line. But Chelsea were going to start things off with Hazard. And Tim Krul was going to do a very good job. But here's Goyfran. Beautiful shot. It hits off Perez. Perez hits the crossbar. Sizoko's there. And it hits off the side netting. How did we not score that? The goal was right open, but here's Cabela with a beautiful goal. And yes, we make it 1-0 before the first half is over. We want some more. Beautiful job here. We open it wide to Carrillo. Carrillo shoots it. He has a great opportunity, and Courtois saves the shot. We go into the second half. We are getting all the opportunities, and that hit off the crossbar. Very good opportunity from Cabela, and Chelsea started going on the attack. We did very bad in defense, but Tim Krul was helping us keeping that clean sheet. Now we open it wide, beautiful job, a beautiful center to Sizoko, and Sizoko scores to make it 2-0 versus Courtois. And Sizoko, I don't know how he scored that. He headed it, and Courtois, there was no way he was gonna get to that. And we're winning 2-0, surprisingly, versus Chelsea, who are the league leaders. And now we are in first place after beating Chelsea. Chelsea goes down to second, Stoke is in third. So for now, we are in first place. Hopefully we can keep the lead. But the final game of today's episode is gonna be versus Arsenal. And honestly, I'm not scared. We've been doing pretty well against the big clubs, against City, United, and Chelsea. But Arsenal were a different side. They get the first opportunity of the game, and it was our turn to attack with Cabela. And how the hell did Chesney save that? 
that we have to use the goal line technology and it, it was not a goal great job from Chesney and it was still nil nil but then we pick up an injury Jan Mott does pick up an injury and he is going to be out for four weeks so we have to take him out and thank god we had Van Anholt on the substitute so we put in Van Anholt for Jan Mott but after that injury things were just going downhill beautiful header here and we do take the ball out but Arsenal were gonna get us on the counter-attack Alexis Sanchez a beautiful ball and he does score to make it 1-0 our defense was all over the place Van Anholt couldn't come back in time and Alexis Sanchez scores to make it 1-0 90th minute we have four minutes left to draw things up and that is what we're gonna try to do we open it wide we're playing much better this is our best opportunity of the game we center of Goyfran there's a center and the header does not do that much we get the corner kick can we do anything there's a center can anyone hand that and Arsenal did a very good job on keeping the clean sheet and we lose versus Arsenal 1-0 so I don't know what to think we were doing pretty well versus Chelsea we beat them and we had a lot of confidence but we lost versus Arsenal and we get no points so we do get the news that Yanma is gonna be out for four weeks so we're gonna put in Taylor as a right back and he's gonna be the right back for a month and then Yanma might take his place back in that right back position but this is how the league table is looking after that loss against Arsenal. Arsenal are the league leaders and they're in first place. We're in second and Chelsea is in third, Stoke in fourth and Spurs are in fifth. So this is the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy it, remember to leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you're new and follow me on Twitter. And finally, follow me on Instagram. If you want to see how I'm doing, how I do things daily, go ahead and follow me. I'm Quinkin. I'll see you guys next time. First you both go out your way and the vibe is feeling strong and was small turn to a friendship a friendship turn to a bond and that bond will never be broken the love will never get lost and when brotherhood come first then the line will never be crossed established it on our own when that line had to be drawn and that line is what we reach so remember me when i'm gone